welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here today i'm going to be doing a pregnancy update if you are new here welcome to my channel fresh fit mom my name is amy i currently have a one-year-old son and i am pregnant with baby number two so i think i am like somewhere between nine and maybe like 11 weeks right now my doctors say that i'm nine weeks but i haven't had an ultrasound yet i actually go tomorrow to get my first ultrasound so i'll find out for sure where i am in my pregnancy so I'm super excited about that, but I do know that I'm still in my first trimester, so I'm having all of those symptoms, and I'm just going to share this with y'all today and just do a little pregnancy update. If you did not see my first one, I will leave that one down below. That was, I think, my four to five week pregnancy update, and in my first pregnancy update, I did share that this is the pregnancy journal I'm using. It's the What to Expect Pregnancy Journal and Organizer, and I really like it, so I'm just gonna do the same thing as last time, and just go through what I've been keeping notes of in my book and share it with you guys. I will also share what app I'm using on my phone where it says the baby is with its developing right now. I will be posting these updates every Monday on my channel so I'd love it if you would subscribe and follow along my pregnancy journey and make sure you give this video a thumbs up as well. So I haven't done one of these in a while because I did go on vacation and then my mother-in-law was visiting so we've just been really busy the past probably like three weeks now so that is why there has not been an update in a while. So I'm gonna go back a little bit. So around like six weeks is when I started to feel really, really sick. And I was just nauseated so much and I just started to feel really bad all of the time. And that was right when I was going on vacation. So like my whole vacation, I felt so bad. Like I was just sick all the time, I was throwing up. I had migraines and on top of all of that, I was just super tired. So I was, like getting morning sickness pretty much every single day and lately the past couple of weeks nothing really sounds good to eat like I don't want to eat anything especially like in the morning and whatnot I'm basically just like making myself eat because I know I need to because if I don't then I feel really lightheaded and dizzy and that's not good for the baby either but nothing really sounds good especially like sweet stuff I haven't been wanting a lot of sweet stuff like even juice and fruit and all that just doesn't sound good in the morning because it's so sweet and a lot on vacation especially the second week I was there because a lot of times after I would eat I would have to go and throw up because I just couldn't like my stomach couldn't handle the food or I was just so sick I don't even know what it was like it wasn't that the food tasted bad it was just after the fact like it just my body didn't like it but sticking on like the food the things that I have been craving are definitely like spicy foods which is so weird because I normally don't like spicy foods at all but I've been craving a lot of spicy foods. But yeah, and then another craving that I just had like the past couple of days is I really wanted ice cream. And I don't like ice cream. Like I'm somebody who doesn't like ice cream at all normally. So it was super weird that I wanted ice cream. So I got ice cream today and it was really, really good. There's not really a whole bunch. I'm not craving like specific foods. Like with my son, I always knew exactly what I wanted. But with this baby, like I don't have that. But it makes it a lot harder to eat every day because nothing sounds good and I'm not specifically craving anything. Another symptom that I've been having a lot is sensitivity to smells. Like I'm constantly like smelling different things and my husband's like, I don't even smell that, but I can smell it and I'm like, it's disgusting. That's another big symptom that I've been having the past couple of weeks. So one thing that I've been having to help like ease my sickness is either peppermint or I also found these things at Target. They are called Preggy Pop Drops. And it says the natural way to ease morning sickness. So I've been having these and these actually work really well. They're all sour flavored, which I'm not crazy about, but they do help my sickness to go away. So this is what they look like. And I just found them at Target. They were, I think about five or six dollars. And they're just little, and they're just little pieces of candy. So now on to the past week, which is week nine. Tomorrow I will be 10 weeks. And like I said, I do get my first ultrasound tomorrow. I'm so, so excited. I can't wait to see baby. Pretty much the same thing. I'm still not really craving anything specific and nothing really sounds good. My sickness has started to go away. I'm not as sick as I was the past couple of weeks, which is so nice. And I'm getting a little bit of my energy back. For the first few weeks, I was napping for like an hour and a half with JJ every single day. And the past couple of days, I either haven't been napping or I've been taking maybe like a 15, 20 minute nap. So I'm definitely less tired than I was in the beginning. And my sickness is finally starting to go away. So I think I'm definitely really, really close to being in my second trimester, if I'm not already, but I will find out for sure tomorrow. One really cool thing I like about 
this pregnancy journal that was not in the pregnancy journal I had with my son is it has a place where you can put information about your doctor's visit so like when it is who you saw and you put like your weight and everything that they do there and then it also has a space to write in questions that you want to ask your doctor and then you can write the answer so like you wouldn't forget and one thing I'm gonna ask my doctor about is some migraine medicine because I do have like a past of having really bad migraines before my pregnancy before my first pregnancy and I'm still having really bad headaches so I'm gonna talk to my doctor about that and see if they can give me some medicine again for that just to help prevent them so I'm gonna ask my doctor about that and I wrote it down in my book so I don't forget so the pregnancy app that I've been using that I will show you I believe this is the one I use with my son I can't remember for sure but I'm pretty sure it's the same one it is the Ovia pregnancy and I really like this one. I also have the Pregnancy Plus one, but I'm, I don't really like that one as much. So that is what the Ovia app looks like. And so I'll just click on it and as it opens up, and then up here you can add like pictures right here. And then it shows you like how big the baby's hand would be and how big their foot would be. And then it shows you how big they are right now. So right now baby is the size of a Southern pecan. And then this next one shows you like what the baby would look like right now. And I really like that and it gives you like a little bit of information about the baby. And then it gives you little like updates or like blogs you can read every day. But yeah, so nothing huge to share with y'all today. Next week I will have photos of the baby. So that is super exciting. I was working out a lot. But when I went on vacation and then came back, I haven't been working out as much. We have been taking like long walks every day. So I try to do that and I try to get some kind of exercise in. And I'm going to keep doing that through my pregnancy. I cannot drink coffee still. It makes me sick. So I still do drink a little bit of soda in the day just to give me some energy. But I do drink mostly water throughout the day. So here is my bump. It's a little bit bigger than the last time I showed it. And it definitely is growing. But that's pretty much all I have to share today. I hope you will subscribe if you're not already so that you can check out my weekly updates for baby number two and make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you liked it but thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye